Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of Indie Book Review, where today I am reviewing Storm at Dawn by, by Cheryl Lawson. Let's get into this review. So first of all, let's talk plot. Uh, this takes place not too long after the events of We Are Mars, the first book. And let's just say shit tends to go downhill even faster with this book. You've got a, sh a scuttle mission coming in there to shut Rubicon down. And they are fighting back against it. And it's just thing after thing after thing after thing. And this book takes place like over the course of just maybe a few weeks, maybe a week tops. Like not a whole lot of time goes goes by in the in the course of this book, and it's just more after more after more shit that gets put on these onto these characters, and it is just absolutely fantastic. Like it keeps you reading, it keeps you interested. Um, there's stuff in this that I actually did not see coming. Which is a really big thing, because I'm pretty good at predicting where stories and books are going to go. And yeah, I I couldn't figure this one, like, at all. I was never any steps ahead. I was I was continually con continually going along with this book, trying to figure out where it was going to go. So that is absolutely fantastic plot. I am going to give it a 5 out of 5. Like, it was just fantastic. I could not be any happier than what this book has produced in terms of a plot. Now we get to characters. And, you know, Jax, Dana, Chuck, Lenny, they're all back. Jax is a bit of more moody in this one, which, you know, you can kind of understand. I mean, his long-lost father has shown up. His best friend betrayed him in the first book. Uh, he's got this kind of tempestuous relationship with Dana, like, all this stuff's going on with Jax, uh, Dana is more or less kind of the same character, she's loosened up and lightened up a little bit more, uh, Lenny has gone a bit more into her darker side, not willingly, but she was kind of forced into it, and Chuck has kind of been on this continual arc of redemption that has yet to be dealt, like, finished, but, you know, there's more books coming, um, you get some newer characters. Darius, who was in the first book, but very briefly is in this, and he's definitely his own character. Uh, you get the leader of the Scuttle mission. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Greer, I think. Uh, he is definitely his, his own character. Eden is a character that I definitely enjoyed reading whenever she was within the book. All these characters feel real they feel wonderful and they just keep you wanting to know more about them this is not just we are mars level writing this is top notch this is fantastic character creation five out of five i'd give it more if i could the writing the writing is fantastic it's it's easy to follow. You have absolute. It keeps you interested, and I have to give some props to probably the most realistic forming of a relationship that I have ever seen in a novel. You know, that's between Dana and Jax. It is probably the most realistic that I've ever seen. It's slow moving. There's a lot of what's going on with this person. Why isn't this person doing this? Blah blah and so forth. Like, it's real. Like you really feel these characters because anybody who's been in a relationship has felt these very things before. Uh, the explanations in terms of what's going on is incredible. I'm going to give writing a 5 out of 5. Like, <laughs> what, what more can I do? Imagination and research. This book shines with it. Especially the research. Oh my god. Like, I praised We Are Mars for, for its research. This one goes above and beyond in terms of its research. Like, she did her homework in terms of, you know, how Mars works. Um, to say that it actually gets close to an ast gets close to the asteroid belt every once in a while. Um, and whatever she researched, she used in terms of the plot, in terms of imagination. Like, this book impressed me so much in its imagination research. I could not... 
in the fear of sounding like a broken record, I can't be happier with it. Like, I am... I loved it. I genuinely loved it. So, 5 out of 5 for Imagination Research. Seriously. And finally, the ending. I, instead of doing my normal thing, I am going to basically just state the non-spoilery ending part here. And, you know, then, I, 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 then I'll tell you what time to go for in terms of skipping it. So, the ending... Maybe I kind of saw it coming a little bit, but there was so much pointing toward it that it's hard to not, and almost halfway through the book, it basically stated, yeah, this is what we're going to do. So it's not like the ending was really uh, a hidden sort of thing. Like, you know what's coming, but you kind of feel that dread, and eventually, every once in a while, you forget about it as as other things are going on, and then you're reminded of it, and you're like, oh, shit, that right, that's happening. And then you forget about it because more stuff is going on. And then you remember it because... And then all of a sudden they're right on top of you, Right on top and it's going... Oh, no! 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 Now if you don't want the spoilers, go here. So. There is a whole other Mars base. It's secret from everybody else. Nobody knows that it's there. Uh, the, the only reason why people even figure it out is because there's a person on Earth doing a whole bunch of hacking and digging and stuff like that. Anyway, their mining droids are not doing the job that they need to do. So they get this idea to go to Rubicon and just bring everybody there to work for the mine. Because, you know, these guys are a bunch of rich conglomerate assholes who think that they can just do whatever the hell they want. And, well, they have the weaponry and the gun and the manpower to do so, so they go to Rubicon. And they gather pretty much everybody up. The only people who get missed is Jax, who almost dies in in his escape. Uh, Chuck and Lenny, who hide. And a newer character, Ansign Swift who is probably a character that I am really looking forward to hearing more about and seeing more of in the next book. And, yeah, there's this whole thing where they are just the last people left. Everybody else was taken to this new base against their will. And, yeah. Don't know what's going to go on now. Don't know what's going to happen until the next one comes out and I'm going, mm, I need to know. <laughs> so yeah, the ending, very, very, very happy about that. So yeah, very, very happy with the ending. Five out of five, totally loved it. Cannot wait for this next book. So, all in all, Storm at Dawn, a straight up 10 out of 10. Gets the perfect score. This book is incredible. We Are Mars got a 9.5, so I mean... I don't know how she's going to top this book. I genuinely don't. I really don't. But I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait for this ending. And seriously, people, read her books. Read these books. They are fantastic. I cannot praise them enough. And, well, that's all I got for you guys today. Have a good one.